Z2015 quant question appeared as the 13th of the 33 questions in that year. Topic is range and percentages. It's a difficult question. There are two layers to the concept. It's not just that makes it difficult. Actually, the concept level, it is difficult. But the biggest thing is it's very painful on calculations. Thankfully, in XAT, you can skip questions. And if I were writing this paper, I would definitely give this question a skip. Because we have seen previous 12 questions. Most of those questions are very soluble. And in a ZAT paper, usually if you could do 15 out of the 33 questions and get most of them right, you've cleared the cutoff that is needed. You'll be in the 98th or 99th percentile. So definitely a question to skip, but we'll solve it right now. There are 15 persons working in an organization. Out of them, 3 to 5 persons fall in each of the income slabs, a given multiple income slabs that's given in this table here. Which of the following is the correct range of tax for all 15 people? See, the two layers here come from two things. One, you need to compute what is going to be the minimum tax for each slab. Right? These are all different income slabs. How low can the tax be for each of these slabs is something we need to compute. And we also need to compute after that, what will be the lowest and the highest tax paid by all 15 of them. So there are two layers to it. We'll just start one by one. The five income slabs, the four income slabs given are less than or equal to 500, greater than 500 up to 2000, greater than 2000 up to 5000 and greater than 5000 less than 10,000. And here they've said that if someone's salary is 2000 for the first 500, he or she will pay zero tax because that's a nil tax rate. For the next 1500, the tax rate is 5%. So this 5% is applicable only on this 1500. It is not applicable on everything. Right. First data point is 3 to 5 fall under each income slab. That's something we'll have to keep in mind, which will be used when we come to the second layer of it. Let's look at the approach. The approach has got four steps to it. The first one, we're essentially going to compute the minimum possible tax for each of those income slabs. Someone gets a salary of 2500 or in the 2000 to 5000 slab. How low can the tax in that slab be? How high can the tax in that slab be? 2000 to 5000, the lowest in tax will be possible if that person's income is 2001 rupees. The highest is if his income is going to be 5000. So that's how we are going to find out the minimum possible tax for a given slab. Next, compute the maximum possible tax for a given slab. The third step is where the second layer comes in. We have found out the minimum and maximum tax for each slab. But what we need to find out is the range of tax for all 15 people in that organization, keeping in mind that there will be at least three people in each slab and there can be as much as five people in each slab. There are four slabs that are given. If I have to find the lower end of the tax bracket, then I need to pump up as many people, put as many people as possible in the lowest income bracket and capture them in the lowest end of the tax bracket too. Similarly, to compute the high end of it, I need to put as many people in the highest end income bracket and also find out the maximum tax that you'll be paying in each of the slabs. So there are two possible or two necessary layers to be covered. We'll start one by one. Let's start with step one and two. Compute the maximum minimum tax for each slab. Right. The tax slabs are given here. This is what the tax slab is. Right. Let's find it out. First slab is if your income is less than or equal to 500, the minimum income is zero in that slab. The maximum income that slab is 500. There's anyway no tax. So whether you are in the zero or 500, your tax is going to be zero for this slab. Let's go to the second slab. If it is greater than 500 and less than or equal to 2000, how low can your income be? I'm taking integer number of rupees. So it can be as low as 501. In this slab, the maximum income can be 2000. If it is in the low end, then the tax is going to be minimum. For the first 500, there is no tax to be paid. You are going to be paying tax only for the additional incremental 1 rupee at 5%, which is 5 paise. On the high end, how high could the income in the slab be? 2000. So for the first 500, you pay no tax. The remaining 1500, you will be paying 5% tax. That makes it as 75. So the lowest minimum tax possible if someone's income is in this lab is going to be 5 paise. The maximum tax that one should pay in this lab is going to be 75. The calculation is going to be similar for the next two slabs. Next lab, greater than 2000, less than or equal to 5000. The incremental tax for the 2000 to 5000 income is 
Now, how low can it be if someone's income is in this lakh? It's going to be 2001. What is going to be the tax for it? For the first 2000, we have computed the tax to be a 75, right? So that is what I've called it as A. For the first 2000, A is going to be the tax. How much more do you have incrementally? You have one more rupee because your income is 2001. What is the tax on it? 10%. So that's 10 paise. So the least tax that someone will pay in this lab, if his income is between 2000 and 5000, is going to be 75.1 rupee. How high can it be? If one salary is 5000, that's when he picks the maximum tax in this lab. For the first 2000, it's still going to be the same 75, the A that we computed in the previous step. For the next 3000, he'll pay a 10% tax, which is 300 rupees. So total income is 5000. The tax paid by the person is going to be 375. I've called it as a B because we can use it for the next lab. Next lab is greater than 5000, less than 10,000, 15% for the incremental one. How low can it be? It can be 5001. Someone's income is 5000. We know the tax is B, which is actually equal to 375. How much more than 5,000? One more than 5,000. 15% of 1 rupee is 15 paise. So the least tax that someone will pay if someone's income is in this bracket is 375.15. How high can it be? 5,000 plus 4,999 into 15% of it works out to 1124.85. So this column gives us the minimum tax for each of these slabs. And this column gives us the maximum tax for each of these slabs. We will be capturing both these things as we go to the next step. I do not know, for some reason it is clicking to the next slide automatically. So just bear with me. Right? So this is some data that we will be using in step 2 and step 3. Step 2, what I am actually going to be doing is, I am going to find out how low can the tax be for all 15. So what we are going to do is, we are going to minimize the people in the high income group. We are going to keep, we need to have 3-3 three, three people in each income group. So I will put exactly 3 in the 2 higher income groups. That takes away six people and we are left with how many more? Nine more people. We can break it as four and five. Four for the 5,000 to 2,000, 500 to 2,000 and five for the lowest income group. So if I give the maximum number of people in the low income group and minimum number of people in the high income group and pick the minimum tax for each slab, that's how low the tax for these 15 people can be. These are the minimum tax amount for each of the slabs. This is what we computed in the previous slide. I'm just taking that information. So this is what we are going to be left with. In this 500 bracket, under 500, I've taken 5 people. 500 to 2000, I've taken 4. 2000 to 5000, I've taken 3. And in the highest income, I've kept 3. So if I'm trying to find out the lowest end of the income of the tax bracket, I need to maximize people here and I need to minimize people in this income group. And I need to pick the minimum tax for each income group. Basically, 5 people, 0 is the minimum tax, so that's 0. 4 of them, 5 paise tax, so that's 0 0.2. 75.1 is the minimum tax for 3, so that works out to 225.3. And 375.15 is the minimum tax in this bracket for 3, so that adds up to this. So the least tax that this 15 people will pay, how low can it be, it can be 1350.95. Little more than 1350, does not include 1350. Right. So this gives us the low end of the tax paid by all 15. Now let's compute the high end of the tax paid by them. Here I'm going to pick data regarding the maximum tax for each of these brackets. This is the maximum tax. Again, from the slide before the last one, I picked this information. Income, I'm going to I have to maximize the tax. So I'm not only going to pick the maximum tax for each bracket, I'm going to put maximum people in the highest income bracket. See? I put 5 in this income bracket, the largest and highest income group, 4 here and I minimize the number of people here, which is when the weighted average is going to be lowest here. And pick the maximum tax, compute at these value, it works out to 7349. So it is a little under 7350. So what is our range? It is going to be greater than 1350, less than 7350, not including both these values. So choice A is the correct answer. If you are looking for anxiety preparation assistance, the go-to place is exati.ascenteducation.com. Be it free questions in your mailbox if you sign up for our Yahoo groups or free videos with explanation for past year's ZAT papers by subscribing to our YouTube channels. Or if you're one of those who wants a classroom program, join our classes at Chennai and Bangalore.